Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. In the last episode, we finished up all the backtracking we could possibly do, or that we need to do, in Planet Norian. And uh, after doing some double checking and triple checking, it, uh, it does look like I have everything there is to get here in Planet Norian. So, in this episode, we're going to blast off and head over to Brio, which is our next destination for backtracking. So let's do this. As far as I'm concerned, I probably got a lot of stuff to backtrack there for. So let's go head on over there. Um, I guess we'll start at the beginning. Uh, Cliffside Air Docks. Let's go. Let's get a move on. Let's get this show on the road here. God, for all I know, it's probably going to take at least... Uh, I don't know. I would imagine that... Well, I guess we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll see. We'll just take a look at how it looks overall, but Brio is, in general, a bigger area than Norian, so I suspect it'll take at least, like, three or four episodes to get everything there. Um, but, who knows, I might be missing more stuff than that, honestly. So let's just, uh, see and find out. Alright, Brio. It has been that long since I was here last. I think the last time I was here, I went to get the, uh, screw attack, didn't I? I think so. Yeah, that was a while back, actually. That was almost 30 episodes ago, I think. So yeah, it has been a long time, actually. Okay, back to the awesome Brio music. Okay, let's see what I'm missing here. There's, uh, okay, so there's something over here. Um, okay, that's it for that side. So we're missing one thing here, we're missing something here. And, uh, wow, three things right there. Two things right there, jeez, that's, that, wow, apparently there's even rooms I haven't been to yet. Oh yeah, there is, because there's like a plasma door over here, okay. So there's even rooms I haven't even explored yet, so yeah, we got a lot to do here. There's two more over here, one more right here, and, wait, isn't that like the jungle area? Oh, apparently they're going to connect to... I guess these two areas actually complete uh, connect to each other somehow. Okay, that's cool. All right. What more is there? Okay, there's another one over here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over here, and there's still and this is like not including uh, Brio Fire. I think there's uh, we should have everything there is in Brio Ice, but who knows? We might have stuff in there too. You know, my luck. As far as I know, it really looks like all there was to get there was the uh, screw attack. Okay. At any rate, let's uh, get a move on here, shall we? So our first destination is the gateway. Okay, let's head on over there. It's only two rooms away, so it's not that bad. Oh, uh, I do recall seeing a bunch of like frozen uh, c creatures here too. Yeah, see? We can unfreeze them with the uh, plasma beam under the uh, nova beam here too. Not that it does anything, it looks like. Eh. Can I destroy this bridge and, you know, ruin my chances of getting across here, aside from using the screw attack? Nah. What would be the practicality in doing that anyways? Okay. Well, at least we got every upgrade in the game, so that'll make it easier to destroy all the anything that tries to get in our way. Oh, there, maybe we can freeze just for the heck of it. They're, de they're all dead anyways, doesn't matter. But I... But who knows? You never know if there could be a power-up inside one of those things, except for the fact that there's no white dots around them, so... Uh, oh, God! Dude! Don't sneak up on me like that. You know what? Here. Uh, I'm trying to... Oh, that's right. For some reason, I thought for a moment there that you could grapple onto anything, but no. I was wrong. I thought you could grapple onto, like, any enemy. Oh, God. Okay, I need to stay in the hyper mode here. Okay, any more of you guys? Better be done. Thank you. Okay. Oh yeah, these guys. Still got these enemies that like turn to formations just so they can attack you. I do not like them at all. Okay, so where's our... It is right above our heads, it looks like. Um, I guess we'll just, just have to do a look, look around here, I suppose. Okay. Let's try... Uh, again, some distance here, so we can take a look. Okay, so it should be, like, up there? 
I kind of see something. It looks almost like a missile expansion. And I can already see I'm going to get to it. Okay, yeah, it looks about right. It's all starting to come back now. There was a frozen uh, access to a warp ball tunnel there, so let's go take a look. As long as we get at least a couple things this episode, I'll be happy, but I'm sure it'll be more than probably a couple. Who knows? Depends on how much trouble what we run into along the way here. Okay. I already scanned that. Uh, you guys. Are you going to be a problem or what? Doesn't look like it, at least not yet. We should be safe inside the Morph Ball Tunnel, I hope. Let's get on in there. Okay. And it is indeed a missile expansion. Okay. So that's all. Very simple to get to. So you can get this one after you get the plasma beam, I guess. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go back over here. Alright, let's see what's next. Which one's closest? Okay, so I already saw that there's literally nothing over here to get. Okay. So that area is never going to be explored ever again. I think. I could be wrong, of course. You never know with, this, with these games. I guess next place we're going is the crash site. Alright. Let's get ourselves a move on here. Yeah. I don't think I've ever mentioned it yet, but I but the Brio theme has really grown on me. I actually like it more than uh, Skytown theme currently. Uh, a lot of you guys told me that Skytown is your favorite area in this game, but uh, personally for me, it's a... Uh, well, I don't know if Brio is my favorite area, but I would say it's my, uh, my favorite... Uh, one of my favorite area themes, I guess, like music-wise. At least the, the regular Brio thing, not the Brio Fire or, or Jungle or Ice. Well, the Ice theme is pretty cool, too. It's very fitting for this time of year. Here's here's what I was doing. Okay. Got a lot of ice in here, that's for sure. Okay, is that, was that blocking anything? Nope. But there is a power-up in here somewhere. Right above our heads, it looks like. Okay. And you. Thank you for dying. Any more of you guys? I could do this all day. Okay, I guess not. Did I, uh... Yeah, I already scanned the ship. Okay. Okay, but yes, there's a missile expansion up there. Obviously, jumping is not gonna... It's a no dice, but... Uh, see if there's any other way from over there. Doesn't look like it. The only thing over there is the grapple swing, so that's not gonna get us there. Just have to... Do a look around, I suppose. Is there something I can jump onto here? Not looking like it. Maybe it's over here? Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to jump on those things. Let's try... How about we try this? Oh, God. Okay, well, let's just... Wait a second. Have I, uh, have I gone up? Maybe maybe going up here will take us to the top of the ship? Oh god. Wait, what? How do I... Oh, there we go, that works. <laughs> Gotta use your morph ball jumping skills to get through that. Oh, this is it right here! Huh, <laughs> what do you know? So I, could, I probably could have gotten this like earlier in the game actually. Probably could have gotten it when I was already in that area. Cause all you have to do is just do the um the you know the hyper ball or whatever it is, a spring ball. Spring ball with the morph ball jump and that's all you have to do with the morph ball bomb. So I could have gotten that when I initially came through here. Okay. Alright, what could be next here? Um, well, I think that's it for the cliffside area, wouldn't it be it? Hello, open. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so here we just need to, well, we can just freeze the fuel gel things, but we can also just, uh, I could just screw attack across here, can't I? Indeed so. Okay, and then 
and this guy right here will help us get to the bottom, bottom of the shaft. Or at least move out of the way, I suppose, to help us. Oh no. Hey, he's gonna jump down there with us. Okay, fine. That works. Alright, um... Let's take a look at our map again, see if we're close to anything. Oh, indeed we are. There is something, uh... There's a white dot right there. Huh. How would you, um... Oh, I think I see... I think I have an idea. Huh. Okay, alright. Let's try screw attacking on this wall, shall we? Maybe this is the answer to our dilemma here. Just like those uh, missile expansions in Prime 2 that we had to get to in this fashion. Yep, right there. Right from our faces, like it always is. Whenever we do these uh, wall jump missile expansions. So I guess that's just kind of continuing the, the trend of Prime 2. Okay, back to the Rio theme. Okay, so there's this is, this is that room, and that right up there is supposed to be open. Um, I was supposed to open that from the other side on episode 28, which is the exact same episode that was corrupted. And I had to um, scrap and uh, just do an update video for. So I could in. In theory, just simply rescan the uh, the lore that I missed, the lore that was in the in that episode. Just read it all over again. I could do that. I mean, like technically, I could also just read it like in the uh, um, in the logbook itself. I mean, I could do that too. But either way, it'd be good to have this thing open. So we're probably gonna have to go around here. Um, I do see something. There's a white dot above me. So there's something right here above me, um, but I imagine I probably won't be able to. Well, maybe. Uh, let's try. Huh? Could I? Oh, whoopsie! Hey, wait! I have the hazard shield now. I shouldn't be hurt. I, I, field gel doesn't hurt me, does it? Let's find out. No, it doesn't. I could just stand in field gel now. Nice. Okay. Alright. But anyways, what I was trying to do is I was trying to get on top of this uh, ledge that's above me here. So... Uh, would a screw attack get me up there? Maybe. Let's find out. Okay. There we go. I imagine that has to be very precise in order for that to work. Okay, so we got a plasma door right here. Okay, I've already scanned Brio plasma doors apparently. Alright, um. There's nothing left to scan this room actually. Okay, so how do I get up there is the question. Or do I need to. Oh, well, I guess I could, ju could just do this. Uh. Can I. Would uh, getting up gains that slot there do anything? Oops. What? What? Why can't I get in there? Dang it. Okay, apparently the game won't let me go in there, so I guess I, that doesn't do anything properly. Okay. Let's use this, uh... Oh god. I am not liking the Emmy there. It makes me very uncomfortable having the Emmy there. Oh! I'll take this. Ah! Game! Capture card, I mean. It's not the game's fault. It's my capture card again. Alright, missile expansion acquired. Picking these things up like candy lately. Okay. I'm gonna destroy you because you're. I do not like the idea of you just being there in my face while I'm trying to do this. Okay, I'm just gonna jump a screw attack across this. How about that? How do you like that? There we go. Okay, now this I will destroy. And then uh well I should be able to just double jump over to this, right? Yep, I can. Okay. 
Oh. Wait, well, where am I? Am I above the uh, door? Apparently I am. Wow, okay. But I can't just jump in there, can I? I can't... Yeah, I can't imagine being able to just jump in there. It'd be cool if I could slip in there with a morph ball. Okay, uh, where is that upgrade? It looks like it's right in front of me, actually. Yeah, sure enough it is. It should be right here. Or unless it's above me or below me. Below me wouldn't make any sense. Hmm. Well... Huh. Well, maybe it would help if I have that door open, so I'm gonna wait until I uh, go around here again to get that, to care, take care of that. Plus, it'll give me incentive to go around here to get the uh, the two lords that were missing that lost in that episode. Not that's gonna matter me reading them, you know, to you guys with having read them before, but you know, whatever. Okay, so now I, what I want to do is I want to go over to that plasma door and see what's back there for me. So I'll see if I can get the screw attack right. Nope, not quite. Thank God I don't take damage from fuel gel, though. Just gotta do this this one perfectly again, I guess. Can't be too bad. Yeah, just barely again. Okay. So we're gonna go through here. Oh God. I have seen you before. Wait, why is the fuel gel helping hurting me now? It wasn't hurting me before when I was just standing it, but when they spit at me, now it's hurting all of a sudden? Well, make up your mind, game. Jeez. Oh. What the heck? Oh, okay, apparently incinerated. Good old Nova Beam, I swear. Okay, now... Going to... Uh, I guess go through here, obviously. There's nothing else to do. Okay, I really need to get dinner after the game this. It's like eight in the morning over here. Got to get my dinner. What I what I call my dinner because I'm going to bed in a few hours. So yeah. Good old graveyard shift. You know what can I say? Okay. All right. So we got ourselves a, a lore right here. Let's read it. I guess we're gonna learn more about Brio, which is kind of odd considering how late in the game we are. Salvation. Let's read it. The great machines of the science lords perform, perform flawlessly. They absorb the toxins and pollution in the air and soil, preserving the remaining fertile land of Brio. Yet the planet's climate was forever changed, leaving one side internally scorched by the sun, the other forever in the icy grasp of darkness. The launch of the machines revealed the hidden enclave of the science lords to their former enemies. The, the bright lights in the sky caused by the decontamination equipment stirred a whole old hatred in the hearts of the primals fearing a new attack the primals sent their warrior for to hunt their hate hated foes we were now marked for death well that's good news right that's a good story that's a good lore right there all right what the heck is this thing that thing looks huge Let's scan it I guess Headpiece to one of the ancient col colossal war golems appears to be movable. Movable? How? Okay, obviously that's not going to move it necessarily. I would say ship grapple, but it looks like it's a little too heavy for that, isn't it? Wait, what's up there? Uh, trying to see what's up there. Wait. I saw something purple and glowing up there. I want to take a look at it. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Hello, where am I going? Where am I going? Seriously. Where am I going? Oh wait, maybe it would help if I froze some- yeah. Let's try freezing this, uh... There we go. Oh, wait, that's not gonna get me... I can't get up on top of that one. Okay, let's try... Can I get on top of this one? Yes, I can! From here, can I get on top of that one? Yes. 
All right, thinking outside the box here. Or just thinking of the obvious. Okay, this thing right here. Oh, my ship can pick it up. Well, really, can it? It looks a little big for that. Like, can, can even the... Like, I know the ship is, like, powerful and all, and... Hey, missile expansion. But... Are you sure it'll be able to pick that thing up? That thing looks huge. Like, it looks bigger than anything it... Well, then again, it did have to carry, like, three bomb components in, in Skytown. It handled that just fine. So maybe it can handle this. Let's see. It's kind of a stretch, though. Hey, uh, ship, can you handle this? Oh, wait. Probably shouldn't be standing on it while it's having my ship lift it. Can I do it now? Oh, apparently, yeah, I can. That works for me. Where's the ship going to take it, though? Well, I guess if we find a statue that's missing a head, we might be able to do something with that, but I don't know. Well, cool, I guess. Alright, well, um, we're up to 21 minutes here, and I have, and yet I have no idea what my ship's going to do with that uh, movable head, so... But I guess we'll fi maybe we'll figure that out next time, and I'll also hopefully figure out where that, uh, what that white dot, where that white dot is on the map. It looks like it's under this, almost under this room, so... It doesn't make a lot of sense, because I don't see any other doors in here. It looks like a dead, kind of a, so almost like a dead end. Um... I don't know. I guess we'll find out next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Goodbye.